oh, I've got a right knot in this muscle and I need someone just to dig right into it to relieve it. That usually helps. So what we're on about here is myofascial pain syndrome, which is basically what we're on about here uh, in terms of like where people have got like tension points, tight, tender spots, knots, some people call them. We've done blog articles on this subject before, you know, in the light of what a knot really is. Does it exist? Is it something that's perceived but isn't really there? Is there a structural thing and so on? But that's not for this video. In this video, we're going to look at the techniques that are utilized to relieve these tension points, these myofascial trigger points. Now these points can be caused by postural strain, which isn't necessarily posture, and we've discussed this in previous videos. It's the strain of a particular posture over a period of time. So if someone spends a long time sitting in one position, or the same repetitive action, then the muscles tend to not like this and tend to tighten themselves up with regards to a protective state, almost trying to tell you to get out of that position and move. It's like a reflex action effectively. And the reason really another cause is uh, fibromyalgia, for example, which is basically has no real known cause. And yet there's trigger points all over the body, natural tender spots that are super tender in fibromyalgia. And uh, these differ on the fibromyalgia patient depending on how much they use that part of their body, which is similar in other people, but obviously heightened in fibromyalgia. And like I say, we don't really understand what the uh, reasoning behind that is. But this uh, study we're looking at here is looking at uh, techniques related to relieving these problem areas. Now what we're going to discuss here is because we know already that there are plenty of manual techniques that work to relieve this type of problem. But in this systematic review and meta-analysis, we're actually looking at exercises effect on myofascial trigger points and myofascial pain syndrome. So they looked at 24 randomized control studies and they were looking at physical exercise and the effectiveness on these uh, myofascial pain trigger points. So with what we know about exercise, we would assume this is going to be effective. You know, exercise creates stretch, creates uh, contraction of muscle, which create reflex, relaxation of muscle. And obviously, again, these tension points should dissipate on the basis of this. And it's something that you can do yourself as well, which is obviously a lot more enabling for an individual. So what did they find overall in this uh, systematic review meta-analysis? So they found the exercise programs that, that were utilized uh, did reduce pain by reducing pain intensity, pain pressure threshold. So that's how much you can exert pressure before it becomes painful. And it also improved range of motion, which obviously is functionally important and disability related important as well. So again, it shows you that there's more, more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. You know, there are myofascial trigger point release, massage, acupuncture, various different techniques which can be utilized for this, but also exercise is another one, as it would appear in this systematic review meta-analysis, that it does work for muscle trigger points. So if you've got a knot, don't just think you've got to just dig in there and that's the only solution. You can actually do exercise to make that muscle contract to stretch that muscle through range, and that will cause the muscle pain to reduce, the range of motion to increase, and it's cause it relaxes the muscle, releases endorphins, all that good stuff. So exercise looks to be a very good option here. So anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.